movie. Cause I'm back in back! Yeah? Hello, everybody! And welcome to the Merry Boozers channel. How's everybody doing today? Hopefully this thing will start loading up here. And welcome to the channel. In honor of Jet Jam, we've got us uh, some jam here and some PB and J time. As you know, we've been doing some funny posts here lately, and I figured we'd just start this thing off right tonight. How's all your flying going this weekend, guys? Look at that. We get to review airplanes here and peanut butter and jelly. Tonight we have the Stripes Dollar General PB&J. Mm, sponsor you tonight by Dollar General. Uh, uh, look at all that jam. Uh, I may not be in Indiana, but I've got my jam right here in front of me tonight and my beautiful brand new L39. Look at that. Look at the spread on that bread. Huh? Uh-huh. Y'all see that? Look at that. You got to get it all over it. Look at that. It's the, the best jam on the planet right now. Mmm. Mm -hmm. How's the video looking, guys? Mmm. <laughs> ah. Nothing like a peanut butter and jelly sandwich to celebrate all them jets and all that jam. Mmm. Anyway, guys, welcome to the Mary Boozer's channel. I thought we'd have a little fun there right off the bat. Good news is we've got the F-18 arriving tomorrow. That's going to be a lot of fun. And I have the graphics sitting right here for our F-18 also from Cali Graphics. Mm, it is going to be fun. Expect mini Papa Dots all over that airplane. You fly your F-35 yet? I have not flown my F-35 yet. I wanted to, but Lori is not here right now. She is at a wedding in Texas for her best friend. And I figured I better wait just in case anything happens. We've been flying stuff in the past and had an oops and not got it on camera. And I would much rather get any calamity on film. I will make sure my ailerons are the right direction. Hint, hint. Anybody that's ever seen somebody not do that. Look at all that jam, guys. How can you not eat it? Mmm. Mm. They're delicious. Hello, Rick and Roy. Captain Mike and Pilot Ryan are here right now. Looks like they look flying. Blah, blah, blah. I can't talk now. I've got a big old thing of peanut butter and jelly in my mouth. Looks like they're enjoying their F-35. Guys, I have snuck a peek in the box and I have to say that this paint job, I love it. It is amazing. Y'all are going to love this one. Any of you guys that have been waiting on the L39 because you didn't like the last paint job, I promise you, this one blows me away. I mean, they got every little sticker under the moon on this one, but we'll get to it in a minute. Um, graphics are pre-applied on this kit, so you don't have to worry about trying to do your own. Um, I would say probably the white one's going to be easier if you're trying to do customization. But anyway, hello, boozers from Chris Jackson. Chris Jackson, don't forget, his flying is next week. Go on and throw it down there in the chat. Hey, uh, make Chris Jackson a moderator. Right-click on his name and do that. I've got my friend Joel here. If you see his name, you should be able to right-click on it and then hit make a moderator. Go on and uh, share that link to the video you sent me, Chris Jackson, of y'all's fun fly. It looked awesome in Hagerstown, Maryland. I think I'm saying that correct. Cut the roll rate down on the F-35. I will take that into advice. Take that into consideration, Ryan. Um, I'm actually really looking forward to flying this. And like I said, the only reason I haven't yet is because uh, Lori's not here. And, and like I said, I want to get it on film when we fly it. So let's see. No, Lori is in Texas right now. Hey, Lori's in here right now, though. Welcome, Mrs. Boozer. Getting to see us from the other side of the camera. Wondering if we could even do this without her tonight. But we figured it out. <laughs> that boy knows how to make a sandwich, Lori. Look at that, Lori. I made it all on my own. Mm. Oh, no. I, can't, huh? I know how to sing, too. Remember, guys? Back in black! <laughs> Ryan, I will agree. The uh, F-35 is definitely... A rocket ship. I watched it fly at Joe Nall. Blown away how fast that airplane is. 
So anyway, without further ado, I'm not going to hold you around too long tonight to get this box open. Let's go on and get into this thing. Huh? Sing it, brother. You will. Watch out. I'll start singing to you the whole unboxing. That's all he gets for dinner when the wife's around. <laughs> That's right, Victor. <laughs> Actually, we went to Bush Gardens today. A little side note off of the RC world. Uh, I got to ride the new roller coaster in Florida, Tigris, today. It was pretty awesome. And then we went and ate Chinese food. So when I cook for myself, I go to the restaurant and eat it. My mouth was full of peanut butter after that. Don't do that in the middle of a live show. Ah. Well, let's start by getting the dust cover off of this thing, guys. Because <laughs> I know y'all are here to see this and not me tonight. Maybe. Maybe I like seeing me. Ooh. All right. Sorry. No good way to do this. Get a drink. I said sorry. First of the night. All right. That's all you get. See, I unboxed it. I took the box off. <laughs> oh, let's see. We got some questions here. Uh, pizza for Victor. Made my F theme today. Talk to you later. Just got home. I'll see you later, Ryan. Thanks for coming by the show for a few minutes at least tonight. I understand you've been out all weekend, and a lot of guys have been at Jet Jam this weekend. It looked like a great event, and I'm stoked to see the videos coming this week. So everybody double check on that. I'm sure Ryan will be putting them up as we go. F-18 came with a nine-blade fan. I'm not sure what the F-18 uh, comes with just because I haven't looked. Um, but mine is supposed to be here tomorrow, so we'll see how that goes. Um, we'll definitely... Probably unbox that next week. And then, like I said, I've got to do the custom graphics on it. Um, we'll keep it a surprise right now what the uh, scheme is going to be. Um, here's a, well, you want a peanut butter and jelly sandwich? I can't eat this on the show. <laughs> Anybody? Some jam, some jets of jam. The dog's over here like, I want it. No, stay. <laughs> Lots of footage. All right. We'll definitely check that out. All right, guys. So I'll start off here. You've got a couple different uh, options of decals for your L39. There's not a lot to apply, though, because I have already looked at it, like I said. Um, a lot of the stuff already comes pre-applied out of this. Um, it looks like you're just picking what flag you want on it and some nose art stuff. So I'm going to set that aside for now. Um, here's the graphic sheet I'm talking about. So you get a couple different nose arts and... Uh, insignias you can choose from but this is there's there's five stickers to choose from i mean you're not going to be applying a lot of decals on this airplane hang on a second i'm going to turn the fan on it is hot in here old florida there we go so anyway there's that y'all see that pretty good some of the decals to choose from okay and the dust cover for the decals keep them from sticking to anything we have the manual for the L39. Trying to do this as precisely as I can. All right, now I need a knife. That's not a knife, but that's a knife right there. I can't reach it. Ah, got me a knife. It's not a knife, it's a knife. Right, Joel. <laughs> Ta -da. Hopefully we can get this box out of the way here pretty quick. All right, first piece we're going to take out, guys, is the wing. And what I'll probably do is pull the parts out, leave them in the plastic for now. We'll unsheathe them from the plastic here shortly. So let's get the wing out. Like I said, the decals are already applied on the wing. They have ball clevises by the look of it. That's how she comes out. It definitely has ribbon connectors. That's always a nice thing. But we'll get this out of the plastic here in just a second for you guys. I want to get the box out of the way as quick as possible here. Because I know it blows the camera out. You've got the gun pod right on the bottom. It rails in just like all the other free wing equipment. Kevin stuck a gyro in the box for me. Um, it does not come with that. The tail, 
like I said, we'll unbox all this once I get the uh, box off. It does come with a come get them rod, too. That's kind of nice. That's the first airplane I've ever got that actually came with one of these that I don't have to make. So that's kind of cool. Let's flip this back over for now and separate the box in half. Like I said, I'm just trying to make sure we don't miss any parts. Oops. All right. Let me get that out of the way. Now, I got to see several of these fly at Joe Nall, and man, the L39 looks like the Avanti for the scale guy. And I am really excited. I'm really excited for this airplane. Um, the uh, aft section of the tail, because you do have to glue the tail on on this. It should be the only glue part on this airplane. Um, looks like the tail screws on. Looks like the vertical screws on. So yeah, there's the vertical, I mean the uh, horizontal stabilizer. Like I said, I'm just trying to get it out of the box right now. Drop, or the uh, tip tanks. Man, you get a light on the front and on the side of your tip tanks. That's pretty cool. All right. Nose cone, plastic. And just like I said, I've seen both colors now, and this one is awesome. Your drop tanks. Get two of those. But I'm talking to James, or I've asked him, I'm hoping to get those uh, missile pods that he's got. All your bag of screws and wire leads and uh, all your uh, servo ball links. What is this right here? Your missile rails. And finally, the fuselage. Ta-da! Man, the paint job on this plane, it just is awesome all right let me get this out of the way guys and we'll start getting everything out of the plastic it's like christmas right now man i mean this plane is gorgeous freewing here lately has just been making some crazy airplanes i'm looking for my stand i've got one back there but i've got another one around here somewhere i was trying to find it real quick to set the plane on oh it's over there Give me just a second, guys. I'm going to go grab the stand so we can get the airplane up on the table. There we go. All right. If y'all don't have an airplane stand, I highly recommend either the Cruise In or these are on Amazon. I think maybe Ryan has them on the Amazon store. I'm not sure. I've had this one for forever. This was the one we used back in the 90s, and they still make them. All right, so anyway, guys, I really can't wait for you to see this. Free wings airplanes lately are just astonishing. Between the F-18 and now this, like I said, I wasn't a huge fan of the last paint job oh, on the L-39, but, I mean, this one just sold it for me. And the, the cockpit details on this one, it's got rivets molded into the foam over here i'll try and get up close to the camera here in just a minute for you guys to see it but man that new paint job is money that is exactly the paint job i wanted and it's the one i would have made and now i don't have to make it i mean it looks awesome um let me check on the comments real quick like i said i'm all by myself tonight guys so from time to time i'll tell you when i'm going to look down at it if you have any questions now is the time to do it it's very sweet looking. Screwing. Business trip. Okay, I don't see any questions right now, so I'm going to keep rolling. Um, I want to get the cockpit over there to you. And like I said, I'm all by myself tonight, so Lori's not over there to run back and forth with. Why is that not coming off? These are some good magnets. There we go. Because I want you to see the details on this cockpit. I mean, I am just blown away with this airplane. Like I said... We're running a, a light crew tonight, so let's see here. See if I can see what's going on. Here we go. All right. So if you can see in there, not 100% sure if you can, but the uh, the details on this airplane, on the uh, cockpit, and I'm going to try and talk up for you guys. Look at the dashboard details on this airplane. And it's off. All this down in here. Let's see. You see what I'm doing? Yeah. 
right in here, that's actually got plastic over it. This isn't a foam cockpit that's going to bubble on you. That's all covered in plastic down inside of there. Other than the top of the, the seats are not covered in plastic, but the top of the dash is on both of these and down the sides. I looked at this, like I said, a couple of days ago when it came in and I was blown away. You're not going to have the issues with this one bubbling when you go to the field. All right. Since I'm right here, I'm going to show you the thing too. Look at all the decals that come on this thing right out of the box. You don't have to do any of this. I mean, look at this plane, guys. I'm just going to give you a slow shot of it here. Look at the rivet. The rivet detail on this. Right out of the box, guys. I mean, it's gorgeous. You want the other side, too? The other side doesn't have as many stickers on it. Let's see here. I'm trying to see the screen and do this. And then the door on the front. And then you have the rail here for the gun to clip into. Fan access panel right here. And like on a lot of other free wing jets, you've got to glue the aft section on. So let me just go around back to the other side now. And we'll be right back. Let me get around to the other side. <laughs> I'm going to get in shape tonight with all this running back and forth, right? Well, let's go on and put the uh, nose cone on it real quick, get it looking right. So we'll get that out of the package real quick. Huh. You know what? It does not have magnetics on the nose cone. Now, it is pressure fit in there, and it may stay, but I'm not sure if the manual is going to recommend that we glue that in or not. Um, I'll have to double check that here in a minute. Guys, I, I'm blown away with this. Let's see if we can just slide the rear on this thing. I might just kind of slowly try and piece it together tonight as we take stuff out of the box. The uh, aft has some stickers on it already pre-applied also. This one actually has like four dots on this other side. I have no idea what it says, though, because it's in Russian, which is correct. <laughs> That's funny. All the words on this airplane are in Russian. I just noticed that. There's not a single English thing on here. Let's just slide this in for now, like I said, just to get us the look so we can see kind of how it's going to look at the end here. Guys, I, I love this airplane. This might be one of my favorite planes I've seen this year. This paint job is, I'm, I'm telling you, when you see it in person, if you've been on the fence because you didn't like the last paint job and you wanted a military L-39, oh, and it's big for the for what size of EDF. This isn't a 90, but it definitely is the size of a 90. Forget what it is. What is this? An 80? Ba, 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 ba. The box is right here beside me. I can't remember. I'm a terrible host sometimes, I know. I think this is an 80 millimeter. I can't find it up there. Somebody's going to correct me in the comments as always. But that's okay. That's what you guys get to do this for, too. Help me out a little bit. All right. Like I said, I'm just going to kind of piece it together. I'm not going to screw anything right now. Um. Captain Blodge is better at screwing stuff. He's in here. <laughs> right, yeah. I'm trying to find some skizzers. There they is. I mean, look at the size of this compared to the F-35. I mean, it's a big airplane. And I mean, I'm loving the way this looks right out of the box. And if it flies like everybody says it's going to fly, I mean, everybody tells me this is the end. Uh, the Avanti for the scale world. And if that's the truth, this is going to be a hard airplane to beat for me. I mean, I'm, I'm stoked about my F-18 and everybody knows that I've said it's, it's amazing too. I'm just going to set these down in here so I can set the tail in here in a second. I'm just going to slide that in for a second there. There we go. Just kind of piecing it together. I think I can kind of friction fit everything so y'all can see what it's going to look like at least. Everything screws together. This is going to be a really easy, quick build. I know James has done, I think James has done the L39. It might have been Ryan for Motion RC already. 
Um, and they've got a good build video out for the newer L39. This is really cool, too, to me, that they put the nav lights on the tip of the tanks and on the side of the tanks for the uh, wing tips. Oh, love it. And I want it with the gun pod. I think that'd be cooler. Let's see here. I think the gun pod goes just like that right there. Look at that. That's so cool. I mean, if you're going to have a military plane, you got to have a gun. And I really want the rocket pods. I think that's going to look good on there. No, and, and the, like the guys are saying, the yellow tips everywhere are going to be real easy to see when it's flying, too. And you have yellow tips on the wings. you got yellow on the uh, uh, horizontal stab. You've got yellow on the vert. That's it, just for piecing it together. And I like the fact that they're getting away from gluing it together. Not that I don't mind a glue joint, but I like the fact that I can unscrew everything from this. So if I ever want to sell it, not to say that I'm going to want to sell this airplane. I actually think this one's going to be a keeper forever. Um, but if I did want to sell it, I have the option to unscrew everything, put it back in the original box and ship it really easy without having to worry about it getting damaged. You know, I'm going to keep all the plastic and everything and stick it back in the box. So if one day, same thing with the, uh, F-35, it's all screwed together construction on that airplane. So you don't have to worry about if you ever want to ship them out or sell one of your airplanes, you can without having to worry about, oh, God, how am I going to get it in a box or it doesn't get destroyed? It's a good reason to keep your boxes now. Like I said, it's loosely fit. There's some gaps right now because I literally just kind of pushed it in there. But, guys, this is awesome. Look at that. There you go. There's the tail now, kind of just pieced together for now. Just give you the look. Awesome. I know I'm excited to pop a dot and airbrush this plane. Just trying to make sure it looks good. I'm following y'all down here. Mrs. Boozer's getting out of here. I'm trying to watch it. Like I said, it's just me tonight. So I'm trying to watch the comments. Sorry if I missed some of it. Lori, bye. Bye, Lori. Um, I don't know about just setting the wing in it. We can hold it up there for now. Um, let's get the wing out. Let you look at it, guys. Oh, man. It even has all the little no steps and everything already on it from the factory. I mean, they're... They're blowing me away now how good Free Wing is making these planes. I mean, you don't have any work anymore. I mean, honestly, you know, I know some guys are going to, that don't know, but the, the work factor of modeling, if you don't want it, if you want to take a plane out and fly it, I mean, the scale details on this plane now, I mean, they blow me away right out of the box. So, to show you real quick, They've got two boards here that go into their ribbon connectors that are going to go up into the fuse and plug in. I haven't even looked at the manual, but I guarantee you that's what's going to happen. So now instead of having 15 servo leads to plug in when you go to the field, now you got two if you have to take your wing off. They're awesome. I don't know why everybody doesn't do that now. I, I love it. All hinged. I can tell you that all the control surfaces are hinged now. I've got it right here in front of me. Let me double check. The tail is. Yep. Everything has hinges on it. Even the uh, flaps are hinged. And it's got this really neat... Let's see here. Hold that up there. All right, so you can see these two plastic bits here. They stay there when the flaps go down. But those are actually plastic molded parts in there. And if you can see it, there's actually all the decals, all these numbers everywhere. I don't know what PBCPOCCNN means, but it says it on it. Um, it looks like you've got some kind of tubes out here, whether they're going to be pedo tubes. Um, let's see here. It's kind of, like I said, the look. I'm not going to really put it together right now because I can't get the servo leads in there. I actually think I have that on backwards. I think it goes this way. Yeah, it does. Anyway, you get the point. I'm going to just hold this up here for now. Um, maybe. Mm. 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 
Ugh. Difficult. Let's see. There it goes. Hey, hey. Hey, hey. Man, look at that plane. I mean, I don't have the tip tanks on right now, but I mean, it's gorgeous, guys. And it's big. And like I said, I just got to put the screws in it, basically. I'm basically building it for you right now without plugging everything in and screwing it together. But, I mean, it's gorgeous. I wonder if that'll actually set there. If I set that in just like that. Woohoo! There we go. Now, can you see me still if I sat down for a minute? The talking head. Uh-oh. I'm buffering on my end. I hope y'all aren't. Can everybody still hear me? Oh, yeah, you probably can, but this thing just lost signals. Oh, no, I can't see the live chat right now. Well, good. Everybody says they can still hear me. My iPad is going nuts right now. It just lost signal for some reason, but whatever. It doesn't matter. Here it is. It's back. Skip back ahead so I can make sure I can see what I'm doing. Anyway, like I said, I'm doing this all by myself tonight. Um, like I said, the airplane is absolutely gorgeous, guys. I mean, I can't wait to do the build video because then I'll be able to get the big camera out and really get close up on it. You can see everything. Um, I'm working currently on the build video for the P-38. Um, I think the build videos that are out are kind of getting older now. Um, and, I, and I have some ideas of how I kind of want to freshen that up. Um, I've been working really hard on it, and I hope y'all really enjoy it. What I'm going to do is, um, my thought on it was, I'm going to do the parts as they come out of the box, just like you see them, kind of like this. And then I'm going to go and pop a dot it all, and then do the parts pop a dot it. So you can see before and after, up close, pretty. And then you can make your decision if you want to do the time. Now, I showed you guys that came to the live show last week how to do it with the... Uh, uh, what is that thing called? Pattern making tool. Um, I think we got that linked. Jamming pods. Barry, how's the new field? I'm just trying to kind of check too on the thing. Um, all right. So here's what I'm going to do right now, guys. I'm going to slide this over. This was, like I said, just kind of the initial getting it out of the box. Let's see. How's that look right there on camera? That looks good. Now I can get over to the side a little bit. Y'all can actually see me. I got my official Boozer Cup. Anybody that's got a sticker from us at Joe Nall or wherever else can always make one of these. $10 at Walmart. I'd love to sell them to you, but I'd have to charge you for them, and now you can make them cheaper. Ah, There's the drop tanks, too. I don't know if I can hold that over there. It'd be something like that. Drop tanks. I think the L-39 really does look good with the drop tanks. You know, there's not very many airplanes I like to fly ordnance on, but I do think the L-39 looks really cool with the ordnance on it. Um, here's the other tip tank, too, because I hadn't showed you that. And the only other thing I didn't take out of the plastic, and I'm probably not going to just because I don't want to lose them. These are the rails for under the wing. Um, we'll let those slide for now. But that's pretty much everything that comes in the box, guys. I'm glad that everybody came in to see it. Now let's just chat for a little bit. Um, give y'all an update on Papa. He was headed up to Washington, D.C. He went to the, uh, he went to a museum, an Air Force museum today in Washington, D.C. And I can't remember. I think it's Dulles Air Force Base is the one he went to. And he filmed a video there. Hopefully that turns out really good for you guys. Um, he ran into a little bit of an issue. One of our, our Papa's dogs, um, his name's Buddy. Um, developed an eye issue while he was up there. So he had to split up from the group for the day and take the dog to the vet. Um, they said that he might be going blind. So that just kind of came out of nowhere for him. And that set him aside a little bit on their trip up. But uh, they should be hitting the road again tomorrow from what he was saying to me earlier. Um, mount a wing tank. Well, I would like to be able to mount a wing tank for you guys. But... Well, I can probably plug one in. Hang on a second. If you really want a wing tank on there, give me a second. I might as well put it on that side. I'm going to come around there to do it. And I got to be able to pull these plugs out for a second here. But that's kind of the update on Papa. He is in Washington, D.C. right now. 
He is getting ready to go meet back up with the group of that. I'm going to walk around the other side, guys. Hold patient with me for just a second. Hold in pattern. It is hot right now. All right, let's see here real quick. I'm just going to plug these in. I'm not actually going to fire it up yet. Just kind of pop them in there. Hopefully the wing doesn't fall off during this. But they should stay on for what we're doing here. Do, do, do. Let's see what's the best way to do this. I don't want to tear anything up. There we go. All right, there you go. I did it just for you guys that asked. I mean, like I said, this thing's pretty much together, just like that. There you go. You can't even see the other side. <laughs> Somebody saying that I saw the said the F thirty five was ugly. It is. I will agree. I will keep my word. I still think the F-35 is an ugly airplane, but the kit itself is beautiful for anybody that wants one. And I know it flies great after watching one. And sometimes, you know, I used to fly an LT-40. That was one of my first airplanes. I thought it was hideous, but it flew good and it was a great thing to learn on. Same thing with the F-35. I don't, I'm not going to be bashful about it. I think that an F-35 is an ugly airplane, but this is one of the best kits of one I've ever seen. And you've got to understand that I looked at it and the scale fidelity and the beautiful features and how it flies are why there's one set in here. Not because of the way it looks. Now, if I want an airplane that looks good, this one. And, and you're not going to go wrong either way on that. If you want the F-35, go for it. If you want the L-39, I've seen... Enough guys say how great this airplane is, you're not going to go wrong with this airplane either. Now, like I said, my choice, L-39. And to be honest, I don't own the F-35. It's another fr friend of ours at the field that let us borrow it. Um, it's a beautiful airplane, though, and I can't wait to fly it for how it's built. But it is kind of an ugly frame. But that's me. Again, and I, I don't mean to cause any kind of controversy. I know somebody out there is going to say it's their best airplane ever and it's their favorite. And it probably is one of the best airplanes that have ever been made. I'm going to put it that way because it is built right. And I know it flies right and it's light um, and it's fast. But beauty is in the eye of the beholder, guys. Um, in my opinion, the airplane from Free Wing right now, everybody should be trying to get their hands-on is the F-18. That thing is gorgeous. I mean, the kit, I cannot wait till you guys see that next week. Oh, it is beautiful, beautiful airplane. Now, this one is definitely my, my number two right now of all the free wing planes that I've had my hands on. This one's awesome. I mean, it's beautiful. And I love the paint job. The only reason I didn't have the last L-39 is I didn't care for the paint job that much, but now they fixed it by doing this one. And I mean, man, it is awesome. And and if you like the red, white, and blue one, there's nothing against that, guys. You know, at the end of the day, we have an awesome opportunity right now. Let's put it that way in the RC modeling community. We're talking about, I've got two different paint jobs of the same plane from a manufacturer. That is awesome that they'd even willing to do that. Same thing with the F-18. They came out with the blue one. Everybody said they really wanted a gray one. And you had a manufacturer that stepped up and made us a gray airplane because we asked for it. And the same thing happened with this. Everybody wanted this paint job and they made it. I mean, it's a great time to be in this hobby. And, and we have a wonderful company that we're working with. I mean, you know, Motion RC has been really good to us guys the last couple of years and and the stuff they're bringing out you know i've got the p38 laying over it on the table that p38 is miles ahead of anybody else's kit that's ever been out i mean there was the banana hobby it was and then there was who else made one there was another one didn't e-flight or somebody made one too park zone had a p38 that none of them hold a candle to that airplane over there um you know the l39 there might have been another one, but I think they were a belly lander, if I remember right. 
and they were nothing like this. I mean, this is, you know, this is an airplane that back in the day, this would have been a scales master's plane. You know, everybody says, oh, it's foam, oh, it's foam. There's more detail in these foam ones than a lot of those composite ones because they can't mold all these details into them like they're doing with these. Um, and I know some people aren't going to agree with me on that, but the finish now, I don't know if it's coming across on camera, but I mean, you can't even see. Can you see that drop tank? There's not a foam mark on it. I mean, yeah, there's some injection molds, but you really have to look for it. If, unless you're within... I mean, half a foot from this airplane, you can't see a foam mark on it anywhere. It's not like the days when you got them in and the foam was just all over. You saw the little holes everywhere. This thing is so smooth. And from more than a foot away, you can't tell it's foam. I mean, to me, the way they're building them now, it just blows me away. Wesley put that away. What was it? Does the P-38 scale the same as 1,200 millimeters? It's probably in the same scale as far as the actual scale, but it's a lot bigger airplane. Um, I guess we're just farting around right at the moment. Hang on. What is the cost of the L-39? I can't remember off the top of my head, but somebody in here is going to put that in there in just a second. Guys, give me a second. I got to walk around because Lori's not here to hold them up tonight. But just to show you how big that P-38 is for guys that have been wanting to see one, I've got the center section built. All right, here I come. Ooh. 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 Look at how big this airplane is. I mean, it is going to be huge. I mean, that is a big airplane. It, so, yes, it's a lot bigger than a 1,200 millimeter plane to me. Um, but in the scale comparison, it's going to be pretty dead on. And here, since you're up here, you can see all the rivets. We've done all the rivets on it. Now, it is a rat nest in here. This is the part that's taken me the longest. Is It doesn't come with all the wires pre-installed in the wings. So... Just a fair warning if you're thinking of doing the P-38. It's a little more involved build than most of the other airplanes. All right, I'm coming back. I'm back. Did you miss me? Hey, guess what? I'm back. That was for you, Steve, if you're still here. <laughs> 385. There you go. Somebody said that it was $385. Um, guys that have just come in, don't forget to like the video if you can tonight. It helps me out tremendously. Speaking of likes and videos and everything, we almost are at 800 subscribers now. It has just been blowing up lately on the Boozers channel. I, I just I, I can't believe that it's happened. You know, we had the video from Joe Nall of Jason or Jace the Ace, and that video is almost at 9,000 views now. And uh, I did the E-Flight versus Freewing F-16 this week, and that video has been extremely well uh, received. It's got, uh, I think, uh, 2,500 views just off the top of my head. And, uh, you know, a lot of guys have just been like, that was an awesome video. And, and, that was the other thing that I was talking about. You know, I, ha I had filmed a video of this at Joe Nall, um, but we got back and I really didn't like the video. And I knew we had the new camera that had taken us from one level, I mean, up to here on our video quality and what we could do. Um, it doesn't lose focus anymore when the airplane's flying, if y'all couldn't tell that. Um, the close-up shots with that camera, the color and everything is just, it's blowing me away. And then we've got our new live stream camera up there that you're watching us on tonight. And it is awesome, guys. Are Retrax doors sequenced? Yes, they are on the L39. The uh, Retrax front door is sequenced. The rear ones are part of the uh, 
mains, so they don't have to have a sequencer. It doesn't have an inner gear door, if that's what you mean, um, on the uh, bottom of it. The uh, mains on this airplane do not have a center part that comes up. I'm not sure if the real one actually has that either. You know, funny story, I've actually flown in a real L39. It's one of the few times in, in my life that, I mean, it just kind of happened to be, I had a brand new DSLR camera. This was back in probably 2008. A good friend of mine named Philip Goforth. He is in the uh, Reno Air Racing F1 division. Um, he was flying for a company with a Merlin and another Merlin, and then they wanted to get some air footages of the two planes flying together for their company. And funny enough, he was like, hey, man, can you come out to the airport and ride in another airplane up beside us and take pictures? And didn't say anything more than that. And I was like, yeah, man, I'd love to do it, you know? So I get there, and it's an L39. It's red, white, and blue. I have the picture somewhere, and I'll definitely, if you want, guys, I'll look it up and try and find it. I mean, I had the pictures of the planes still flying together. You know, they're real low res. For back then, they were really good quality. But for now, they're they're nothing like they used to be. But I was sitting right here. I was the Rio in there and uh, taking the pictures right out of here. And I'll try and find those pictures and put them up on uh, the Mary Boozer's Facebook page. If you want, I'll try and throw them over to Pilot Ryan's. But uh, so it's kind of neat that, you know, back then... I, a lot of guys don't know I went to school to be a aircraft mechanic actually. And I also went to school to be a commercial airline pilot. Um, but things didn't work out. I, uh, wasn't able to get a medical certificate. So I made it about halfway through flight school and that was the end of that. And so then I decided to become an AMP and I went to school for that and finished that. But then, you know, life got in the way of what I wanted to do originally, which was to be an aircraft mechanic. And, and I didn't, after actually doing it, I didn't enjoy it as much as I thought I was going to. And I ended up going to work in electrical wholesale distribution and did it ever since. And it's been a really good thing. And, and, you know, my passion and my hobby is still aviation, but it's not my job. And I know that I probably would have got burned out on airplanes and aviation if I had to do it for a job. Whereas now I get to play with my little airplanes. I get to fly them, you know. It's funny that I can't, I, I, I want to fly real airplanes. Don't get me wrong, guys. If, if there was a way, I would. Um, and I might still be able to do it again, but um, little, little story of the boozer and where he came from. So I actually uh, have my AMP. Um, it's here hanging up on the wall if y'all want to see it one day. But um, there you go. You got a real airplane mechanic working on these little airplanes now. But it's really neat how much these little airplanes have in common with the real ones. I mean, you're flying a real airplane here, but cool story. Like I said, back to what I was saying, um, I'd like to one day have Philip on this show, actually. Um, he lives out in Texas now, so I mean, it's hard for me to get him here, but he does have family in Florida, so maybe one day we can get him on the show somehow. But yeah, Philip is in, if you ever look it up, you can, you can look it up. He flies uh, number 69 Naughty Girl at the Reno Air Races. But he is the reason I have actually flown in an L-39 in real life. And it was a very neat experience. And now it's coming full circle. And I'm going to get to fly one again. But this time I'll be on the outside looking up. So anyway, guys, I hope that was a kind of neat story for you guys. A little different tonight. Can you place that video on? So I don't have a video from me flying in it. All I have is pictures. Um, I actually have them on Facebook. They're back in my old Facebook pictures, but I'll try and go look them all up again and get them up on either Mary Boozers or the Pilot Rounds or somewhere. Um, like I said, the details of them aren't great. Um, the airplane is still there. It was actually the air traffic controller in Midland, Texas that owned that L-39 and was flying it. And he flew it in the air show every year for Midland's commemorative Air Force air show. Kind of a neat thing, but yeah, I'll try and get those over for you guys to look at. So anyway, anybody got any questions about the L-39 tonight while well, I've got it sitting here in front of me? Um, like I said, the, the paint scheme on this airplane, bar none, one of my favorite paint schemes on any of the airplanes right out of the box right now. I love that they put all the little things. You know, normally you have to order 
all the little scale stickers for this from Cali. Man, they did it for you. It's got where the oil goes. It's got the fuel tanks are labeled. It's got all the little no step signs everywhere. There's some little red, green, white, yellow dot on the tail for something. I don't know what a chingar per ketatoa is, but that's what it is in Russian. Maybe the Slovenia boys can tell us what uh, all this stuff means on their L39 if they get one. be kind of an interesting thing to know what all these little words actually say. I think that in Slovenia they speak Russian. I think that's correct. Or do they speak Slovenian? I don't know. Airbrush kit still on Pilot Ryan. Yes, RC Weaving, the airbrush kit is on Pilot Ryan's store. I'm sure somebody can throw it in there for you right now. Like I said, I'm a one-man team tonight, so I can't link it for you. We have plenty of moderators in here that can definitely do it for you. Um, guys, if you're wanting to be a moderator, I'm sorry. I can't make you one tonight. Lori normally does that. Um, and the iPad I'm using is not actually signed in as me, so I can't do it from here either. Um, like I said, I hope you enjoyed that little bit of story. That's a little history of where the boozer comes from. You know, uh, I, I've tried to be as forthcoming and, and honest with you guys as I can about everything we do here at the channel. And I mean, the, the, the funny thing is, I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, you can. So the patch up here in the corner, what that is, is here, let me get it. I want to show you this. This is kind of a funny story. Since we, we talked about that, I don't mind sharing it. This will be fun. So dad painted this for me in about 2008. Can y'all see that? It's a penguin and he's got his handkerchief on that says MC. Well, I went to what was called Midland College, uh, which was the Chaparrales. And they had a pilot program back then. And I believe they still do have an AMP program. Well, Papa painted that for me. And I dropped a little thing. So now you'll know that what this actually is hanging back there. But in flight school, you know, it was kind of the funny thing. It was still everybody had their Top Gun references. And we all had our call signs for funny things. Everybody called me the Penguin. Because I was in review with the FAA to get a medical for forever. And I was halfway through flight school before they came back. Well, everybody called me the Penguin because I was the flightless bird. So that's where the penguin came from. And dad actually made me an A2 jacket with my penguin on it and everything. And it was a funny little story on that. So that's where the little Midland College penguin came from was that I was called the penguin. Not from Batman or nothing, but, you know, that's where that came from. So I can't actually see how many guys are in here. Holy Batman. That's right. I'm the penguin, guys. I went by that nickname for quite a while. Um. It was it. I always took it in good fun, but like I said, I did that while I was in flight school, and then, um, like I said, went into being an AMP. I took that for AMP school was two years, I think. You had basic, and then you had airframe and power plant. Um, but yeah, anyway, thirty six guys in here tonight. That's great. I hope everybody, like I said, is having a good time. It's just me tonight. So, you know, Lori normally is sitting over there whenever there's a question and she can tell me it. So I'm trying to bounce back and forth. Josh flew well, no control on the ground. Anyway, I thought y'all might get a kick out of that story and you get to know a little bit more about the boozer. Um, let's talk events for a minute. So we've got Jet Jam was this weekend. I'm sure that was an awesome event to go to. I saw Jerry McGee was there. I got to meet Jerry McGee when I went to Florida Egypt, and I actually won an award while I was there. Um, I know there's a lot of new guys that weren't here for it, but I actually won best scale jet at Florida Egypt's this year. Um, if you guys get a chance to come down, it's right there at the same field that they do Top Gun at. If you get to go to Top Gun, that is absolutely amazing. You will see some of the most beautiful airplanes you'll ever see. I do plan on going to Top Gun. I want to go this year. I want to film it for you guys. So expect to see the boozer at Top Gun. Um, I won that with Jerry, though. He is an awesome guy. He deserved every bit of the minutes he got last night to talk to you guys on the Pilot Lounge. I'm sorry I wasn't there for all of it. Um, it's me by myself right now, and things come up sometimes, but we're here, and uh that was a lot of fun. If you can come to Florida E-Jets next year, 
a lot of fun. I don't have the dates yet. I don't know if they've even announced it, but when they do, we'll make sure we get it up on the Pilot Lounge. We'll make sure it's up on the Mary Boozer channel um, for everybody to check that out. I do want to go to Top Gun, though, and that'll be at Jerry's Field again, I think, in Lakeland. Um, it's called Top of the World RC Club, if I remember correctly. I wish Jerry was in here tonight to talk to you, but I'm sure he's on his way back up here to Florida driving back. Um, the other big event I want to try and make this year is James has asked me if I could come to the Jolly Good Fly-In. I think that's how it's said. If, if RC Jet Dude is still in here, I'm sure he can tell you the exact dates. Um, Papa Boozer is trying to get to the... Barn burner. I don't know if it's going to happen. Like I said, they had some issues with their dog and they're still in DC. They don't know if they're going to get up there as quickly as they were trying to. Um, but that's kind of the events for this year. I might try and go back for Nall in the fall if anybody's going to that, if I can get the time off. Um, I'm starting another new job here in a week. And so that's going to kind of depend on all that. You know, like I said, the boozers don't get paid for anything other than our shirts right now. Um, you know, eventually I hit, you know, funny enough, I did hit the 40,000 hours of, or what is it? 40,000 minutes of watch time, whatever that goal is. I hit that this week, funny enough, or maybe it was last week, but I did get the thing that I'd actually hit that. And, uh, so now all we're waiting on is the thousand subs and, I can't believe it. You know, I thought when we got to 200, I was like, that's the coolest thing ever. And it took a couple months. We got 200 new subscribers this month alone. So, that, I mean, that just blows me away. Oop, I just whacked my airplane. Um, it's crazy, guys, you know. I only get two weeks of vacation a year, so I've got to kind of pick and choose where I can go. Um, and those ones that are real far away, is, although I'd love to go to Jet Jam, it would take, if I take any airplanes, it would take me probably two days of driving to get there and then two days back. And if, if the vent's three days, I mean, I use a whole week of vacation to try and get up there. Now, I could possibly maybe fly out next year on the Friday, have the event, Sunday evening, fly back, and just not take any airplanes. Um, that's a possibility. Maybe meet up with Ryan. And uh, if he's gracious enough to let us fly some of his stuff or whoever is there, um, that would be the only way I could really look at going to a lot more of these events is if I fly them. But at that point, I can't take my airplanes with me. So uh, it's difficult because I want to come meet all of you, but I also want to be able to fly at these events. <laughs> Everybody's saying to get the stick away from the new plane. Nah, nah, nah. It's pretty tough. It's not putting any dings on it. <laughs> Virginia, that's not too far away. Chris Jackson. I thought you were in, Mar or in Maryland. We're only an hour from Virginia. Hmm. Well, so let's see. Maryland's probably an 11-hour drive from the Boozer, if I had to guess. Maybe 12. It would be an all-day thing to get there. But not to say it can't happen, man. I, I mean, like I said, this year is going to be a little tough just because of um, getting into a new job and, and starting some different things with that, um, that I've kind of got to focus on here. Cause at the end of the day, I got to pay the bills first and foremost. Um, we got to make sure Lori's fed, right? She don't want to be eating no PB and J's some jet jam. We're going to call this a jet jam from now on, not a PB and J. It's funny. It's absorbing all the moisture in the air here. It has rained and rained and rained. You know, guys, if any of y'all are watching this from out in like Kansas or anything right now, you know, I've, I've lived out there. I've been all over out in there. And uh, it's it's really funny. You, you, you wouldn't believe it. But in the last week, I think we've got six inches of rain. Where I came from originally in Midland, Texas, our yearly rainfall total was like 10 inches. We've got half of the yearly rainfall total for where I used to live in five days. And it just blows me away. I mean, when it rains in Florida, it rains. But I have to say, the weather here is still beautiful, and I, I love it. Um, you know, we complain at the field when the wind's five miles an hour. Uh, we're like, ah, oh, it's so windy today. But I know I came from Texas, and it, we were like, oh, man, it's only blowing 20 miles an hour today. Let's go fly, you know. And now it's so funny that it's only uh, – 
five mile an hour and we're like, ah, it's a crosswind at five miles an hour. We're going to just never fly. But things change over time, I guess. I got to get a drink, guys. My throat, after talking for an hour straight, it's just, well. <sighs> well, guys, like I said, I'm all by myself tonight. Is there any other questions or things you wanted to see about the L39 tonight? I will do it where I put it all together and, and get it out, and we will definitely fly it. You know, the the it's going to be a fun few weeks here. We've got the L39. We've got the uh, F-35 to fly. We've got the F-18 coming right now. And I might as well let the cat out of the bag. Guys that were in there last night, I kept saying, Andy, come on, man, where's our plane? We're getting the brand new version two HSD Super Viper 102 millimeter on the channel, 12S plane. I cannot wait to get that up here for you guys. That is going to be phenomenal i'm so excited drop the gear i'd love to wayne but i can't get the gear out right now because there's none of the wires hooked up well i could i'd have to do it with my servo checker and i don't know well it's got ribbon connectors it would be kind of difficult to put the gear out right now for you um, i might sneak it into next week's unboxing video for you guys kind of like what i did with this but yeah we've got the brand new hsd super viper coming Andy is actually putting it together for us. It's going to have upgraded everything in it. I mean, it's kind of going to be really a neat thing. Um, I can't wait to fly it. Uh, he's going to make it basically a plug and play airplane. It's going to show up here or it's going to be bind and fly. It's going to have the receiver in it already. All the electronics are going to be ran and hooked up. It's going to have, you know, the fans going to be in it already. Everything's done. It's going to be huge too. And I mean, I, you know, this is an 80, so double this. And that's how big that airplane's going to be. Uh, I, I just, I can't wait, guys. It's supposed to be here sometime this month, perhaps, maybe next month. So it's going to be awesome. Awesome airplane when it gets here. But I wanted to just go on and drop it to you guys, since you're the, lo the loyal boozers that stick it out, even when I'm just talking. But that's going to be a lot, a lot of fun. And I can't wait to film that one because, man, 12S. I've never flown 12S before. Going to go to a high-voltage airplane. It's going to be amazing. Amazing. So, And, and he's hooking us up. We're by, we've got the batteries coming. we got everything coming. So, I mean, it's going to be a full-blown thing. And a big thanks to Kevin. Um, it's actually going to be his airplane. But, like I said, that's one of the biggest reasons that uh, we get to do what we do. It, I don't want you all to think that I'm going out and buying airplanes every week every week every week what i've done is is a lot of the guys at the club have been very gracious to me and they know i put them together right and i don't tear anything up and a lot of them love the custom airbrushing work already so it's been great that they've just said here west i got a new airplane take it do your show with it enjoy it and when it's all done you can we'll go fly it so anyway i've been very lucky with that and and i love it you know the p38 is a friend of ours at the club named rudy Rudy Valley, he's the club president at the Band of Buzzards RC Club, where I'm a member of, and well, I'm the vice president of. Um, this one's Kevin's, and and I, I really do appreciate everything that those guys have done for us. Um, if Kevin's still in here, I mean, thank you, man, tremendously for everything you've done for us. The channel wouldn't have grown like it has if we wouldn't have had the support of those guys, and I really do want to thank you. And I want to thank each and one of you subscribers. I mean, if it wasn't for you guys, you know, I... I got to have a reason to do this, right? And if nobody was showing up to watch it, what's the point? So, but you guys come back every week and, and I, I thank you for being there. Victor Shamulus, he's here every week. Thank you, Victor. I think you love the look of this L39 and your wallet wants to buy one because this thing is gorgeous. I was telling everybody a minute ago, this is probably... I would say top two jets right now from Freewing. Now that it's got this new paint job on it, uh, I would probably buy the F-18 first and then buy this next if I were picking airplanes right now. I love the F-35. Don't get me wrong, guys. But like I said earlier, it's kind of an ugly airplane to me. Not in the way it's built or the finish or anything like that. If you like an F-35, it's an awesome, awesome airplane. It's just not my taste in airplanes. I'm glad to be doing it. It flies amazing. It's got 
I mean, it's got every bell and whistle you want, and the quality of it is amazing. It's just not my type of airplane. You know, the funny thing is, is I wasn't a jet guy until about a year ago. I really didn't like jets that much just because I didn't know much about them until I started flying them, and then I fell in love with them. But I'm a World War II guy. Um, you know, sadly, there hasn't been anything new World War II come out lately for me to buy and put on the channel. So I'd love to have some new Warbirds. You know, the 1600 millimeters, and I know there's a Corsair, but I already have three, and I don't want to keep up with Dave. Uh, is it Dave? Isn't it Dave Kowiski that has like nine Corsairs? I just don't want to keep up with them. I, I've got like three of them, and that, that was enough. I've got the FMS, and don't get me wrong, the Free Wing is definitely the best Corsair on the market right now. It's just... I, for the money, I'd rather get something I didn't have. Um, and so, like, I've got the Spitfire. Their 1600 millimeter Spitfire is absolutely awesome. I love it. And I've got the 1500 millimeter FMS P47. Awesome. If you've got those two planes, they're exactly the same size as each other. I know the wingspans are a little bit different, but the fuselage lengths on both of them are the same. And so they go really well together. So if you've got the, the, uh, uh, Flight line, F, or, uh, flight line Spitfire 1600 millimeter and you're loving it, get, do me a favor and go out and get you the FMS 1500 millimeter P47. Flies rock solid, same batteries, so you don't got to buy any batteries for it because you already got them for your uh, Spitfire. And the quality of that airplane, the cockpit detail is something that I haven't seen in any other cockpit right now. I love this one, and I love that it's clad in plastic, but on that P-47, I mean, they actually have what we'd usually have to 3D print. It's got a full cockpit with the little guy's legs that go down and the stick, and it's got all the little radio switches on the sides, and it's got the panel built where it's got all the, the dials are cut out in it. I mean, it is an impressive little cockpit they put in that P-47. Anyway. I'm, I'm just running wild. You know me, guys. I never can stay on topic after we hit an hour. I just go off the rails. But anyway, guys, I, I, I really enjoyed you coming tonight. I'm not trying to kick you out or anything, but it's just me. And I wanted you to see the airplane. Um, I'm going to go on and probably uh, cut this off here in just a second. It's all me, so i got to run over there and do it. But uh, I really hope you enjoy the look of this airplane. And I hope anybody that's been wanting to see one and get it out, and I mean... Here it is. I mean, it's a beautiful airplane. I wanted you to see it in person. There's not a lot out on it yet. Um, I plan on getting this one together as fast as possible and hopefully flying it as soon as Lori's back so we can get a flight video up of this new color. I know there's, like I said, there's not a lot out on it right now, and I really want to get some up-close shots of it because it is the L39. This, I think, in my opinion, this should have been the paint job from the beginning. Now, it's a dark color, so it's probably a good thing that it came out with that red, white, and blue one first because that's a lot easier to customize. Um, this is going to be one you're going to want to leave alone because it's a very dark colored paint job. Uh, it's going to be a lot harder to cover over this one, whereas the white one is a lot easier to repaint. So, I mean, I can see how that would have been really good. Um, anyway, guys, I'm going to cut this off, guys. Thank y'all for coming tonight. Like I said, I got to walk all the way around because I'm back, back, back. I'm going to sing y'all out of here. Back in black, because I'm back in black. Back in the I can't even see the comments right now. But are you having fun? Bye, guys. I really have had fun tonight. Look, I can come over here and type now. Hello. How are you? Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Bye, guys. We'll see y'all later.